Hello everyone, welcome back to Evie's Queen. Before starting the video, we've made 300 plus videos on this channel just for you guys. Don't forget to check them out and if you like them, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We've already reached half of our target and thank you very much to those who subscribed. Tesla continues expanding Giga Texas as seen in the drone footage taken by Joe Tegmere. The footage was taken on Friday and Tegmere shared his take on the new construction with updated maps. The maps show a sprawling Giga Texas as Tesla continues to build. In the photo, you can see a construction map of Giga Texas on the right. In that photo are the actual factory itself with several highlighted construction zones. Tegmer noted that there were a significant number of construction areas on Tesla property as well as new construction that will be started soon. In the video, he quickly analyzed each construction area noting updates and current progress. One example is Tesla's warehouse on wheels concept which uses trailer to store parts instead of storing them inside of the main factory. Tegmer noted this also saves time for truckers delivering and dropping off trailers. Overall, this entire section continues to transform and it plays a major role in the construction of Giga Texas, Tegmer explained. In addition to the changes at Giga Texas, Texas road is being widened. Tegmere noted that there's been a large number of steel materials deposited recently, but the brown materials had been there for around a year and a half. I'm not sure what role that plays, he added. A new building is being constructed on the west side of Tesla's battery cathode plant. The building permit filed with City of Austin is for a 107,000 square foot single story building with water management and storage capability. Tegmere noted that trenching on the left side is most likely for large underground pipe. Also, Tesla is performing soil tests. You can see the image here shows that the building may look like once it's completed, Tegmere noted. Tegmere noted that there's there was a permit to build a boring company tunnel and shared his thoughts on what this may look like. He pointed two images. One is a slide in the video showing a Colorado River connector tunnel with a boring company number associated with it. The other showed approximately where the tunnel would be dug. It would be going from near where the battery cathode plant is underneath the Colorado River and over this small near island that you can see in the larger photo. It's about a little more than 2,000 feet or maybe about 800 meters in length. He added, Tegmere pointed out that although he didn't know what the purpose for the tunnel would be, but it could be a way for the public to visit a road in area 7 and then have access to this area of the property. That is it for today. Thank you for watching the video.